So here in Final Cut Pro 10, we're gonna have a look at how we relink files once they've lost the connection. Now, normally this will happen when you've moved your files from one hard drive to another, or you've renamed the original files or folder. So the first thing we're gonna do here is actually break the link to the original file. So I'm gonna right click on my clip on the timeline here, go to Reveal in Browser, and then from the browser, I'm gonna right click and go to Reveal in Finder. And then we'll see this original file and we can rename it. So I'm just gonna append it with a different name. We'll just add Surfshop to the end of this file name. And you'll see that now when we've gone back to Final Cut Pro, this file uh, that we've renamed, Final Cut Pro has kept the connection. So it's a little bit harder than it used to be to actually break the connection between the file in Final Cut Pro and the original linked file. So if we come back to the Finder here, and I'm using Command and the Tab key to move between Final Cut Pro and the Finder quickly, I'm gonna grab a few files here so we'll grab a chunk of files that I think I'm using on the timeline here. And I'm just gonna right click and mark them as green, just so I know which ones I'm gonna delete in a second. And then I'm gonna make a copy of these. So to make a copy of these files, I'm gonna copy them to this moved files folder. We'll drag them across to here. It's gonna make a copy of those few files. And then once I've done that, I'll check I've got those 14 files here. We'll come back to the original. We've got 14 files that we can delete and I will drag those down to the trash here. And then if we come back to Final Cut Pro, you'll see that we've lost a bunch of links to those different files. So we've got missing links to those different files. So essentially, this is the same as if you move those files from one hard drive to another and then disconnected that drive, you may lose the connection to those files. So how to reconnect them. So if I click on one clip here and go to file, I've got an option here to relink files and it's gonna relink the selected file that I've got there. So I've got my original file and I can click locate all and I'm looking for this MVI 3129, which, which is on this hard drive Sayulita in the folder Mexico 2017. And I'll go now to the moved files folder, so where I made a copy of this file to, and I'm looking for that MVI 3129. I can select that and then click choose, and it will now offer to relink the original file to the matched file. It does a little bit of checking, so it will check the duration, the frame rate, and the resolution of that file when it's relinking it. And now if I hit relink, we're looking at this second file up here. We'll hit relink files, and you can see now that's relinked. Now I can select more than one file to relink. So if I click on one file here, scroll down, and then hold down shift and select all of those files, I can go to file, relink files, and then it's gonna give me that whole list. Now, when I click locate all here, and I select one of those files, so I'm looking now for the MVI 3130, and it's come straight to the moved files folder that I was in before, so I'll select that. It's actually gonna detect those other files that were in that folder as well. So it's matched 10 of the 10 files within that one folder by reading through them all, and that means their duration, their frame rate, their resolution and now we can hit relink files and it's going to relink all those files so there's a couple of different thoughts about finding out where your media is stored in Final Cut Pro 10 and then also how to relink those files either one file or multiple files now I'm just going to jump back into the finder here and we'll see if we can't replicate something I saw earlier so if I right click here and go to reveal in finder then I'm gonna hit enter and append that file name with the name of the surf shop. We'll hit enter. And now when we go back to Final Cut Pro, you'll see that it doesn't lose that link. So if I'd done that in previous versions of Final Cut Pro 7, previous versions of Final Cut Pro 10, then I would have lost that link. But Final Cut Pro 10.3.2 is maintaining a stronger link to the files in your system um, than previous versions of Final Cut Pro. So it seems a little bit harder to break that link. This doesn't seem like a fixed rule. So sometimes I've changed the file name in the finder and it has lost the link and other times I've changed it and it's kept the link. So I wouldn't use that as a rule, but it seems like Final Cut Pro is maintaining a slightly stronger link to the original media once you've imported it into Final Cut Pro. So thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial has been useful. And if you have any other questions about relinking media about working Final Cut Pro 10, then please just leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.